a month. That is going to do it for this case. The next case, you would think in a dogfight between an Akita and a Spaniel, the Akita would win. You're going to be surprised. This is the plaintiff, Gia Hutt. She contends she was walking her two dogs in her driveway when her next-door neighbor's neglected Brittany Spaniel viciously attacked her Akita, Merlin, ripping open his face. She desperately tried to separate the dogs and fell on the pavement, tearing her pants and cutting her knees. The hateful defendant came over drunk and had the nerve to threaten to put her dog to sleep. She sued for $472.60 for bed bills and ruined pants. This is the defendant, Frank Sloboda. He says the plaintiff's big Akita has a history of biting people. The dangerous dog is never on a leash and just a few weeks ago had one of his kids pinned up against his truck. In any event, on the day in question, the plaintiff's vicious dog attacked his Brittany Spaniel, Lucky. All Lucky did was defend himself. He's accused of irresponsible pet ownership. All parties, please raise your right hands. He came to my house to threaten us to kill my dog, Were you ever drunk in the Navy? as a skunk. No. Totally drunk, which is his usual mode of being, even at oh, 10 o'clock okay, in the morning. I knew that was going to happen. But it's true. The People's Court, final case on the docket. Merlin the Akita should have done a disappearing act on the day in question, but instead he was viciously bitten by a Brittany Spaniel named Lucky. Did Merlin provoke this attack? You decide in the case of Merlin's unlucky day. Uh, Miss Hutt? Is that you give me the details of your case? I brought my dogs out for a walk, and on our way back into the house, their dog, Lucky, came from in between the two houses and attacked my Akita. Is the defendant your neighbor? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, I tried to break the, uh, the fight, but my dog is 13 years old, and he's in very bad shape. He's almost blind. He's got arthritis, can hardly walk. What damages... Did your dog suffer as a result was, of what you say was the attack? He was bit on his face. He under, was what? Bit under his eye, on his... I have pictures. Yes, let me see. On his, um, on his black side of the face, his black and white. It's hard to tell because it's a black side, but you can see his stitches sticking out. Go ahead. Uh, he was bit and his uh, skin was torn and the dog was crying and there was blood on my driveway and I was trying to break the fight and I just fell on the floor a couple of times because I was so nervous and as shaking. As a result of which, what happened? Uh, as a result of which, my Akira took off. I lost the, the uh, grip on the leash. As a result of your activities in breaking up the conflict, did anything happen to any portion of your clothing? Because yes, that's sir. part of your case. My, I fell on my knees on my driveway because they buckled and I just really couldn't, I was shaken. I was as a result so of which, what happened? I fell on my knees and I had a bruise. The fluid came out of my left knee. I, it would not hold me up anymore. It's happened to me before, so I knew that's what happened immediately. And uh, my pants on the left knee, I'll turn this as evidence, got ripped on the, you can see, it's hard, hard to tell, but if you put your finger on the back, you see there's a hole in there. Yes, I can see it, madam. You don't have okay. to put my finger in, I see it. Okay, and I have the original bill here. Your, you're also suing for your pants? Yes, I am. And how much did you pay for that? The pants for the were the pants were new? Yes, sir. I bought them in December. And how much did you pay for them? 159 um, With tax, 169.34. Here's a copy of the bill. I didn't have the original, but I called the store and they faxed it to me. $170 for a pair of pants? Yes, sir. That you wear to walk the dog? Yes. <laughs> I don't want you hanging around with my wife. I'll tell you that right now. I've heard that before. <laughs> what happened, sir? Well, Go I think ahead, it, was, it was more self-defense. Tell uh, me how it could be self-defense if the attack occurred on her property. This dog hasn't attacked anybody. Their dog has. Uh, these people do not walk their dog on a leash. Go ahead, sir. The evidence is uncontradicted that the Akita was on a leash. Why is it uncontradicted? Because you weren't there. And she says it was on a leash. Go ahead, please. But Mr. she Lobo. says it was on a leash. So? I can I mean, go out any time when they walk their dog and it's not on a leash. Go ahead, sir. I can walk out with a camera and take pictures of it, well, which I did have. You? Did you? Yes, I did. Let me see it. I have the plaintiff here with the dog. No leash, no rope, no nothing. This dog has attacked three people. Yes, well, I read that. Is this your property, madam? Yes, sir. 
And this that dog is my is driveway. On your That's your property? Yes, it's on my driveway and it's with my husband Go or ahead. myself because the dog is never out alone, ever. He well, walks on a line, sir. He's blind. He walks on that pattern into the garage. Well, madam, I noticed from the documents that have been submitted and the testimony of Mr. Sloboda that your dog has indeed yes. bitten some people. It's true. Unfortunately, well, it has happened. Uh, I've got a six-year-old. I mean, this dog doesn't know body parts. He could take this kid out tomorrow. He gives you no warning. This is How the bad long part. have you lived there? All my life. In these premises that we're talking about? Yes. All your life? Yes. And your child is how old? Six. Six years old. That's was born in the place that you live in? Yes. How long are you living there? Ten years, sir. And he has lived there a year. Wait a minute. Maybe. Maybe and two years. And your dog has never bothered or attacked your, Nothing. your child? Nothing. All right. So what are you worried about? Uh, but he picture. has attacked three people. Here's a picture of a kid. Let me see. But your dog has attacked three people, so it should always be on a leash. Yes, you know sir. that. It is. Most, it, sir. And that's the dog. That's your dog, Lucky. That's it. That's him. Well, he's certainly a good-looking animal, but he shouldn't be let free to roam at will. Dogs, as cute as they look, when they come in contact with other dogs, change their character. He's had come in contact with other dogs when he has gotten loose occasionally. He has never bit him. I think it's the other way around. You're very honor. lucky, sir. Don't tell me it's the other way around. The evidence in the case is that her key is leashed on her property. Your dog comes from your property onto her property and attacks her dog. That's the evidence. You're, you're telling me here that uh, this woman, you know, walks her dog on a leash. And yet I go out randomly at any time and take photographs with the dog Excuse being walked me. without a leash. I don't want to hear that. It's Sir, not true. that may be so. There are other agencies that are available to you to cure that problem. I am not dealing with that problem. Uh, I understand. I am dealing with a specific incident that occurred on a specific date at a specific time on her property dealing with her dog and your dog. What happened? Who's responsible? What were the damages? That's the issue. But I am going to say something here. He came to my house. After my, I told my husband I didn't want to sue them, and I told him I didn't want to sue them. I told him I wanted to work this out separately because things do happen to everyone. Uh, Is that so? Did she speak to you about that? I tried to talk no, to he, both her and her husband. Can I? And they use language that I don't understand, <laughs> unless you're a sailor. Oh. Sir, he came to my house to threaten us to kill my dog, Were you ever drunk in the Navy? as a skunk. No. Totally drunk, which is his usual mode of being, even at oh, 10 o'clock okay. in the morning. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Now we're going to deteriorate and start it's calling true. each other names. But it's true. And it has nothing to do with the case, well, madam. Fine, but don't come and threaten me because I am going to follow through as well. My dog has been met by health officials on every incident that has happened. The bites have occurred in my home with the, ex with the exception of the last one who was on my driveway. In my garage with my dog leashed inside the garage and the first time inside my home. Uh, my I dog was provoked. Madam, I don't want to hear that. I'm not well, dealing with those issues. But All I'm not I know the dog is out that... Because I know he can't bite, not anymore, but he did many years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, he had the capability and he no longer has it. He's oh, dying. That may be so. Ma I am that sorry may that be he bit. So. I would still, if I were you, I with do. a 100-pound dog and a 40-pound child next door, ensure... A child who wrote a threatening letter to kill us. Madam, okay. well, you're not listening. <laughs> you don't want to listen, don't listen. What do I okay, care? Okay, no, I'm sorry. Merlin barely has a new leash on life. Is the defendant responsible for the attack? Judge Heinlein rules. Next. Both of these men commute to work each morning. Connect to the People's Court at peoplescourt.com. Closed captioning and other consideration for the People's Court provided by... No kid can resist the tape. Who's responsible for this dog attack? What do you think? I believe the defendant is responsible because it's completely irrelevant, uh, the, uh, the plaintiff's uh, dog's track record. His history of violence. Okay, coming down here, you say? I think the defendant's at fault because his dog was on her property. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Sandra Day O'Connor, give her a hand. <laughs> okay, there's also the issue of the leash law. The judge is on the bench, and here's his ruling. Your excuse, if somebody gets hurt in the future, is going to fall on deaf ears. Nobody's going to listen to you. I so know, just sir. just listen. I take responsibility for okay. what's happened, and I've paid the, the price as well. Mr. Sloboda, she's indicated that the veterinary bills were 
three hundred and twelve dollars and sixty cents, and the pants. I'm not. Like, forget about it. Give her fifty dollars for those slacks. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me to you walking a dog in such expensive pants. Sir, I pants. had gone to dinner earlier that night, and I was still dressed in the same no, clothes. No. Okay. Fifty dollars, so. madam. That's what you're getting for a total of uh, just. Three sixty-two and sixty cents. That's judgment in favor of the plaintiff. Thank you very much. Plaintiff wins the judgment. Gets quite a bit of what she sued for. Come on over here, Mr. Uh, sure. Mr. Sloboda. You you two obviously don't like one another. What is at the core of this this problem between the two of you? The personal part. Well, I'm trying to um, stop something here that's going to happen to another human being that could possibly be dismembered or uh, facially uh, tore up from this dog because of irresponsibility. I guess I should videotape it next time. Uh, so we'll let, uh, we'll let that go on that point. All right. The document's waiting for you right down the hallway, yeah? Ms. Hutt, come on out here. You have a history of unrest with this man. Yes, we do. Uh, there's some such thing as good neighbors, but I don't think that's the case here. Well, what do you have against each other? Um, he has a problem with us. His mother tried to break into my house once. His kid writes us threatening letters. There's, I have no clue what their problem with us is. I have a feeling they're bigots because I'm Latina and my husband's Jewish. And that's my feeling. All right, well, good luck uh, with, with, with getting along with him. Hope there's peace in the valley, Harvey. You know what, if this were not a leash law case, it could have hurt the plaintiff that her dog did have a propensity for violence. Now, we love hearing from you. If you have a legal dispute, maybe we can try it on the People's Court. You can contact us at peoplescourt.com or call us at 888-505-6950. The People's Court is a Ralph Edwards, Stu Billet production. Distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution.